Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV playthrough video. Today, we continue with my Shadowbringers journey. Last time, after liberating the city of Yulmur from Valtry, for now at least, we gathered the remaining residents to explain the situation. Alfie doing his thing, making a rallying call to action. And so, the people of Yulmur, our adorable patrons, the Chais included, helped us obtain the resources and knowledge to get the ladder working again. After leaving the city, we speak with Emmett, who teases us about the Exarch's identity, and then Ard about solidarity and togetherness. And so, as the huge elevator brought us skyward, we ascended from bottom rung to top rung, ever closer to our destination of Mount Golg, where Vothri had retreated previously. We scouted the area where the Exarch trialed one of our options for reaching the peak, flight, using some Magitech drones as sacrifices, and ultimately ruling that strategy out. After returning to the nearby village of Amity, we convinced Chai News to use his Daedalus expertise to design a humongous Talos to get us up to the peak. Once again, our friends and acquaintances from across the first rallied and set out to build it together. Meanwhile, the Warrior of Light and Exarch ventured to the local dwarf settlement Tomra to inquire about ore for the Talos Heart. We battled off many a Sin Eater and acquired the needed ore, as the Exarch then experiences instances of weakness being so far from the Crystarium Tower. Back then, at Amity, where all our comrades had assembled, we finalized preparations for the build, with Runar supplying the heartstones we previously saw in Slitherbow, including Taudia's, while Yeshtola and Urianje make sure their cryptic measures are in place in the event that the Warrior of Light can't contain any more ether after defeating Valthry. As we wrap things up, we notice the Exarch has disappeared. And so after a quick search, we find him not too far away, though weary from the distance once again. We sit and have a nice chat where he explains that he made himself one with the tower, and although he wishes nothing more, he must maintain the ever secretive nature of his full plans. Finally, back in the source, we see what's happening in Garlemald as Varus and Xenos speak in the Imperial Palace, mentioning the fact that the Scions are in the first and now would be the perfect time to strike. But not before a timely interruption from the real Xenos, as Elidibus and Xenos face off in who's the better immortal or whatever. But that's about where we left it off. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, join the Discord, and you can help support the channel by becoming a member, hitting the join button just below this video. I appreciate all you guys for all your support. You guys are awesome. But enough from me. Let's get into the episode. Right, so while the two of you were away, I received word that everything is in place, meaning we can proceed with awakening the Talos. Once we imbue the magic, it will stir itself and immediately carry out its designated function, namely taking Monk Gorg in its grasp. I want to see what this is like, man. I envision some huge thing, but it's not here yet. Like, it's not even existing yet. If you look over there, it's not there. Two, we may be certain that Valtteri will not look on in idleness as we beat a path to his front door. Once our plans are set in motion, there will be no turning back. So see to your preparations as meticulously as you may, and I will give the order to proceed as soon as you are ready. See, to me, the thing should already be half built, no? I guess they're just gonna work real fast. Give the word and I will relay the order to awaken the Talos. Engage. Very well, let us begin. But how do you hide this? How do you hide this huge ass thing? Maybe it's just invisible? Maybe the Exarch is hiding it by one of his spells? Word from the Exarch. All is set on his side, and we may proceed when ready. Perfect. She is such mommy well, energy, this expansion. For our needs. Likewise, preparations for the imbuing have been made according to thine exacting instructions. Hmm, their secret little you thing. Need only say the word. I wonder what those two have got up their sleeves. Let us begin. See that everyone is in position. We shall catch Vorthry, mountain and all. Okay. I have a feeling it's not going to go down that way, but okay. Are these going to be my last days? Am I actually going to die? Oh my God. Holy shit. 
Here it comes. What? Planet Destroyer. Haven't heard this song yet. God damn, is that his hand? Or what? Holy moly, that's a big guy. <gasps> Ghost boy. Oh shit. Are we giving him a crown? I guess. King of the Talos. He looks badass. Oh, they don't stand a chance. They're gonna get squished like flies. Certainly trying. Do you see what they're doing? If its hands are damaged, it won't be able to cling to the mountain. Oh, I knew this was a terrible idea. He goes from what like one to the other. He's just one idiot. He doesn't believe in anything. To his defense. This was only to be expected. He has zero confidence. We must try and draw as many of them down to the ground as possible. It may not be enough, but we have no other choice. Oh my god. Is that? Is that what? Hey, it's our girl. This thing our sapling is cold and cruel and heartless. <laughs> heartless. Summon us in times of need. We expressly said yet. What should we find but the final battle joined without so much as a whisper of our name? <laughs> She's pissed. She's pissed. Yes, yes. We may also have said that we pay folk have no interest in the struggles of men, but if our adorable sapling had come crying to us for help, we would of course have flown to his aid. Of course we would. What are we to do with him? We... That was Uri's responsibility, no? He said he would go. On your sapling's behalf. We are so very, very sad. You will play with us. Uh-oh. Cheer us up again! <laughs> She's got psycho mode. Stop passing the buck. Okay, bring it down, big boy. Let's go. <laughs> I think they're mad at me. This I did not expect, but I will gladly accept the help. I will send word to Yostola and the others. Join them at the foot of Mount Gulg and be ready to make the ascent. Okay. Let's go. So are we gonna like fight? 
all the way up him, because that would be cool. Everyone is here. Good. The talus has taken hold of the mountain. As planned, we will use its body as a bridge to reach Valtry's sanctuary. The Sin Eaters will make work of every arm, of course. But we will carve a path through their ranks and meet with their master regardless. Okay. The Scion's back together. I love it, you know? <laughs> Last one there is a rotten egg. <laughs> I don't think Reen has heard, as a, heard of a rotten egg before. Mount Gulg now accessible. Let's go. We're mining it, by the way, just so you guys know. So prepare. Ooh. It looks totally badass. He kind of looks like strikingly not good, though. Like, it kind of doesn't match with the Warrior of Light. He's got, like, this evil look to him. So it is you. You will not defile my new paradise. Holy shit. Lots of Sin Eaters. Oh my god, these are huge pulls from mine as well. Jesus, good luck, Girlish. Maybe they just look huge because they're, like, big character models. I'm excited to see what the bosses are going to be like. Oh my god, dude. This is a lot. Okay, we survived. Your reward is pel- Oh, hello. Hello. I'm not averse to a good looking Sin Eater. I'm gonna just throw that out there. Oh my god, that cleave. We're all a little weak to the cute ones. Oh shit, it's the guy from the trailer. Okay, first boss. I can just like take in the view while we're at it, you know? Look at these mountains, guys. Um. Oh. Oh no, odd bard. Hey, this is boss one. This feels like a. This is kind of a long fight. Scurrying about my domain like insects. I will not suffer it. Oh my god. What the heck is this thing? This is the thing from Google? Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, you can go in this? Okay. Wow, this is a pretty epic dungeon already. Earthshaker? I know about those from last night. We were doing uh, Bahamut. Aiming, wow, they really like me. I don't need glam, right? What the fuck? Is this copied city? This is sick. This Sin Eater, oh my God, look at the Sin Eater things as well. The statues. Uh oh. Come no closer. Creatures. Holy crap. So this is all made from ether or light or whatever. This is sick. Holy crap. I just want to take in the views. Come on, mechanics. Let me let me take everything in for one second. So he just like formed this whole place up here. Perfect. Oh my god. This is awesome. 
Hung what what is it? Forgiven whimsy? Whimsy? Hungry whimsy, I was about to say. <laughs> Exegesis. Proving that? Okay. Oh, okay, we get grids. Bad bard again. Oh, it's an X, I see. Catechism, isn't that a WoW expansion? Are we go in this? Okay, it's a soap. Probably shouldn't go in these with a the Voln stack, but it's fine. Pop that. Extra heals. Oh boy. Oh boy. This bad? Am I sa we're safe? I think we're safe. Okay. Yep, that was bad. Oh no. Man, these are kind of hard mechanics. For a normal dungeon? I'm probably dead. Or did we just get like bad RNG on those? Oh god. Oh, do they tell you something? Oh, that ah ah! I get it. Do I get it? They tell you the sea areas, or they tell you the areas that hit. Ah, that's cool. I don't think I would have ever figured that out without dying and being able to watch it. I'm ashamed not. I'm ashamed that I died. Okay, he dead. Wait, I level. <laughs> I leveled. <laughs> no healer, no DPS, no problem. Holy moly. Oh, I am righteousness. <laughs> I am I am righteousness. righteousness will prevail. Oh my god, man. Honestly, I don't blame him for being up here. Like, this is sick. It's like the Acropolis. The gardens and everything. Shit. Uh, can't you do anything by yourself? This little mountain hideaway. So this is the big pools you guys were talking about. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see. This pool's before. Oh, fuck. We're dead. Oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that was not just a big pool. Okay, this seems to work. That size of mob is pretty dealable. This scenery is just so awesome. I love the design of this dungeon. I was not expecting this. I was expecting it to be a big like rock place. Okay, nature's mining. I'm tripping. Fuck it. Very Probably well, a waste, but if you will not be discouraged. Uh oh. Oh my god. Revelry. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Pick on the new guy, huh? Okay, he wasn't too hard. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? The big guy from the Four Lords. Wow. Okay. Vol three. Oh shit. Oh shit. Remember what I said? Remember what I said? Consort of Sin. Is this the Light Warden? It could be, because Vol three is a Light Warden. God dang though, I'm pretty partial. I'm I'm, I'm partial to a uh, pretty well looking senator. Okay, divine. Dim okay, that's from the other dungeon. I remember that. Stop that, damn you! I don't care what it takes. Oh shit! I looked at chat for half a second, man. I should be good here, right? Yeah. Perfect. Proving? I don't know why.
Okay. Did that hit me? Are you gonna move from that? But I really am the worst bard, aren't I? Two Vuln stacks. Two bard bad points. Solitaire. I love that game. Oh boy. Uh, uh, read dam? Not read dam? Okay, I see. Easy peasy. Oh, I just made that. Holy moly. I saw my life flash. Oh, not this again. So we need to move into this, correct? Oh, no. We just stunned. Okay. I see. This is the last boss, right? Yeah. I want more. I want more. We have to kill her. Very nice. An eater that only makes others fiercer. Lovely. Hurry. Nothing to say. He's very pensive. I feel it above a powerful light. No eaters remain to stand in our way. It's the moment of truth. Of all three awaits. Okay. The big guy awaits. Big baby. The end is near, my friends. We have found Vorthra's hiding place. Just... <laughs> Will you not, Will you be, not be satisfied until you have brought this disaster down on your own heads? Damn, that echo. It's just at the top of this really big staircase. Your wickedness, you stand to gain had you, Had you only, only trusted trust trust fate, 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 fate to me, me there would there have, would have been, been peace for all. Sure. You could sure. have left this yeah. bliss, bliss in my eternal paradise, free, free from the from burdens, burdens of constant purpose. I would have liked to have lived here, to be honest. Like, you gotta give him points for his architectural choices. I really like it. I like the vibe he's got going on. But everything else is fucked. Peace assumes many forms. And I do not doubt that you considered yours well worth the cost. I was even prepared to believe that the end might justify the means. Ignorant as I was, I had hoped that you might mend your ways and join hands with us. That we might strive together for the happiness of all. He wanted to soapbox him. You know, he wanted to get on his soapbox and fix him. But no more. Your actions cannot be reconciled with your words. Peace for all, you say. Yet when you were threatened, your first act was to sacrifice your own people in order to save yourself. True. If your paradise can be rebuilt so long as you alone survive, it exists not for the people. It exists solely for your twisted pleasure. Mm-hmm. Hear me, Vorthri. The people won't submit to your will. For we each have our own. I made a promise to a noble soul. A Aww. woman who saw fit to entrust me with her legacy, and I mean to keep it. Minthilia. <gasps> Look at Everyone all our friends. Everyone stands with us has something precious. Something that they cherish and would die to protect. They have no idea what it's like up here. They can't see this wondrous Greek architecture. They know their own hearts. They know what they want for this world. Mm hmm And by lending their strength to our cause, they have spoken. 
No matter how hard you may try to bend the world to your will, we will never yield. Shit, get him, Reen. She's gone from like, oh, I can't, I can't do it, oh, to like, oh. I love it. Silence! Silence! Not another word! Okay. You Sorry. You to lecture me. Insolent words. Oh no. You will learn your place. With my true powers awakened, I will expunge you like the fifth you are. Your demise will serve as a reminder to all. Why can't he but show up? I am the zealous of mankind and city to both. Chosen to rule over creation by right of transcendence. Ah, is that a right now? existence is virtuous. I am perfect. Immaculate. <laughs> right. He perfect. seems disinclined to grant us an audience. Find perfect Fortnite. man. We will hold the eaters here. Hi. Come, let's finish this. Because that's a lot of sin eaters. Don't worry about it. Omega's got the big pills. We should be good down there. Yeah, we should be. We'll be all right. Hurlish, Omega, you got it. The crown of the immaculate. Okay. Oh, we're at the Acropolis. Oh wow! Look at this. This is sick. I just want to stay up here. Can this be like a map, please? Can we just like stay here? Here we go. Oh shit, he does walk them. Are you so determined to die? One last chance, villains! Innocence. Bow down and acknowledge your king! Your wow. god! He got done there quick, huh? Holy shit. Hey, respect to the dude. He's not using his little wings to fly down, he's walking. Come on, big guy. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die. I just know it. Heavenly host. Okay. Odds? Oh, I hear all the themes coming in. That's cool. I will crush you. And I miss my dots again. Fine, fine if you refuse to die. His voice actor is so good. Oh, we got a gears. Uh oh, we got a death. Receive of me my blessing and rise higher. Oh boy. Suffer, 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 and know your mommy. It is so good. Like, listen to this, the emotion in that delivery. Ever since the first time. He's dying pretty quick. Secret fears, anyone? The music. I should BGM 100. What? What is this? Uh oh. Oh, the signs. He's like a little insect. I think little is giving him the benefit of the dark. Me. 
I see now. Ayo. This is the passion of my ascension. Anyway, oh my god, he's a Chad. I he's an absolute giga Chad. Look at those flowing locks. Holy shit. Hi. How does such an evil man get such good luck? They are the moves. Okay. Okay, there's more. We need to sit back here. Winged Reprobation. That is one weird ass AoE. Oh! Oh! I see! <laughs> Shit! Shadow Reaver. Ah, I missed my dots. Oh, we got a DPS check. Sick. Love those. Oh, the vocals. Oh my god. Popping nature's men. Rip the hot sin eater. Again. What is this? Slashing resist is done. Okay. I pop that. I think I just got that off. I did. All that optimization. God ray. This is gonna. Uh oh. Okay. I'm good. I predicted it. the stack. Hopefully nobody died. Atone with your life. Oh my god, he's dead. Valtteri is dead. I am all powerful. That voice does not suit this character model. Yeah! Hey guys! You missed the show! Yeah! That was fun though, that was super fun. Should we talk to everyone? Yishtola, might you have any worries? Dramatic transformation. The result of Sin Eater within emerging to claim dominance, I assume. Hurry. There lieth the last of the light. We've secured an escape route. Do what you must. Really? 
Is it through this big thing? Because that would be cool. Well, it looks like uh, we missed it all yet again. <laughs> With your powers, you could have done so much good. We start, I thought he was talking to me for a second. I was like, wait, what? Alfie flipped. He's talking to Hawkeye. All right. Is that Vothri? I see. It's finally over then. Now, Knight will return to all of Norvran, bringing salvation to both of our worlds. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no. It's been a while. We meet again. Ah, <sighs> Okay. Upon speaking with Reen, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended <laughs> that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Okay, here we go. <laughs> He's not dead? Oh yeah, we don't kill anybody. <laughs> Still, he can't accept. I I am righteousness. I am God. Father. That is why I was born as man and sin to both. Huh? He was born Sin Eater. How can this be? I should be the one looking down at you. He's trying to do the BB Rage thing again. It doesn't work if you're not fat, man. The Hawkeye thing just ruins it. Me. Help me. W. I am your god. Yes, I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. This one's gonna go bad though, isn't it? All those headaches. Those little heart tremors. Oh no. Oh no. We're giving the Hawkeye the suck. I said it. Don't bomb me, YouTube. Here we go. It worked? I'm alive? Look. Oz champ? The sky. Yes. We did it. Here it comes. Oh no. Okay, that wasn't like a heart attack. That was the echo. Who are these? Fools! Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, raised to the ground. Former mayor. Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. Oh, is this the previous calamity? The flood, maybe? I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. To be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such I know that voice. ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more were you not surrounded by fools. Ah, we know who this is. Oh, 
Well, he's got the full outfit. He's got the ashy you? drip. You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal, one that will ensure the longevity of your reign. I was always wondering, we got that scene where he was like hovering at the door the first time we met Vothry. I always wondered what he was actually doing here. But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. By giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, Ooh. we shall create a transcendent being. A king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. That's how he was born. <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vothri, they behave as docile pets. Wait, he's controlling it already? With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, mm. seal your supremacy. Ah, okay. Now we get his motivations. We get stagnation. We get the light. Very well played, Emmett. Very well played. Oh. It happened. Uri. What'd you get up those sleeveless I sleeves? Say something. Am I going to turn into one of those? Am I going to turn into Hawkeye? He cannot contain the light. He's beginning to turn. Oh, oh shit. If you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. He doesn't have sleeves, you should look. Sorry. This is serious. It's changing back. Oh, no. Somebody help me! Come on! The combined power of every light warden is Chris? too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. And so I shall relieve you of it. No. Hi. Was this their plan? I will channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. What? As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? Not I. And thus, thus did I use you. Mother fucker. No way! No, no, I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. Chris! Why? We won't let you do with him as you please. Do not interfere! Hurry! You knew about this? Was this in please, his vision? I beseech you all, let him go. Ah. Oh. Why? You knew of this, Uriange. He knew it had to happen. Tis all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch mm -hmm. will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Oh. Then what does he mean to do? Is he sacrificing himself? 
He means to take the light with him into the rift. Oh. Where he will die. From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrand. Ah, oh, he's not evil. But he is evil, but he's playing evil. But he's not really... Chris. But why did he want to make it seem that way? At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter, I concede. Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. Aww. I'll remember you, Chris. The music. There has to be another way. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free. Safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Me and Simon call him by his name? Do we know this person? Call him by his name? The eye? Is that the guy from Crystal Raha? Thank you for fighting for this world. What? For believing. Fare you well, my friend. My inspiration. <gasps> how did how did he get here? What? What just happened? No, you little bitch. You little Only fucking those bitch. Who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first. So it's not him? Therefore, in all likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with the tower. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. Oh my god, my, my fucking brain right now. Alas. It is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. You bastard! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. Is he? He wants this what to go a through. Appointment you turned out to be. Oh, you I little placed bitch. my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. You little fucking bitch, Emmett. You acted as me. He acted as my friend. He was my good buddy, my little companion. But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. So he only liked me because I was powerful. Or he only pretended to like me because I was powerful. I want to ask them both. Uh, well, we know it was him that created Valtteri. We got that flashback. 
What do you intend to do? <sighs> I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. Right. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthri. Hmm. For the stagnation. Thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? He did. You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. As allies? If he could contain and control the light. If not, then he, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. Twas as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How <laughs> disheartening. Yeah, no one. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing light wardens willy nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away, and I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Hmm. I can control it. Okay, I can. Oh, <laughs> I definitely can. You still retain your form and your senses, but you have all but become a sin eater. This is a very bad situation. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those no. In your no. company will likewise turn into sin eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. So he used me to create an even more powerful Sin Eater version. Ah, oh, what a mother fucker. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. No, he's oh, mocking us. The irony. What Vorthry achieved through bliss, you achieved. Oh, but I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. So what do we do? Exarch! What? Briz? Graha? I don't know! I don't know. The time and effort I invested in you. He is a small token for my troubles. I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. Huh? Oh, please tell me we fight Emmett. I pity you, I do. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. Oh shit, when he's it right. When too much to bear, seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. The Tempest? There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. Wow. Till then, Til then, I bid you farewell. Eater. 
Eater. Oh my god. Uh, what do we do? Is Chris dead? Is that even Chris? Is it actually Gratia? Is that... He get teleported. He made it seem like that wasn't Grahatia, that was just like some version of it. Oh, ghost boy. Ah, finally. No, he did try and share the light when he touched me in the last episode. Or something happened there. And his purpose has yet to be served. Was it just a dream? You're confused. And small wonder. After you collapsed, Emmett's self vanished. Was then he there? Lynn did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Thanks to her, you're still you, but she's only delayed the inevitable. Mm. Mirard, give me a big hug. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. Oh no. Oh no. They took my balcony. Oh no. So that's because of me? Oh fuck, man. It's like this all over. The whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. Oh no! Shit! All this work for nothing. What do we do? Okay, guys, let's uh, restart Shadowbringers. Let's run it back. Do I get the welcome again? You guys gonna w welcome me back at the Crystarium? Maybe we get to see Tataru again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. Oh, no the sandwiches. The sandwiches. You remember the sandwiches? When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. They didn't know it was me. And now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. Aww. I, th I feel like he recognizes the same mistake or something in me that he made. Perhaps. Oh, shit. Are we retracing the same steps as that they did? Whoa. you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. What do we do, bro? We're not just gonna sulk. There has to be something. Warden of Light. Uh, <laughs> I have so many questions. Still. Okay, guys. Take me out to the barn, I guess. Behind the barn. Who's got the shotgun? Let's do it. Let's just get it over with. I always had my suspicions about him. I always was like, he's an Ashen, so he lies, but he was telling us the whole truth. But I thought him like trying to obviously tell us the whole truth would end up just being like a double bluff. 
Yeah, I have so many questions and all I like. With the whole Grahatia thing and the tower, is he, like, where did he get transported to? Was that the tower that did that? Was that Emmett? Is, what the hell is, where did he say, the Tempest? Oh, man. There's so much to take in. I knew it was going to be a lot, but, like, man. And now I'm the cause of everybody's despair. Okay, anyway, let's talk to our favorite helper, Manager of Sweets. Oh, sir, you're awake. You were injured during the 4 a.m. on Ghoul, guess? I was here at my station, as always. When they carried you in on a makeshift stretcher, looking disturbingly bereft of vigor. And, to compound my worry, the sky has... Well, I'm sure you've seen. It is everyone rather concerned, to say the least. Seeing you up and about is the first good news I've had in a while. Assuming you feel strong enough, would you mayhap consider a stroll around the city to reassure our anxious citizens? Bragi was one of those who helped convey you to your chambers, and he has visited several times since to inquire after your condition. Okay. Well, well, look who's back from the dead. Aye, it was a grim sight. Your companions looked fair ready to drop when they brought you in. So I offered a helping hand. Couldn't bear to see them struggle so. And you, my friend, I feared you have one foot in the grave, cold and lifeless. You were like a corpse that was somehow still breathing. They told me some evil bastard went and snatched our poor Exarch away in the midst of the chaos. Wicked white, what is this world coming to? He doesn't know the half of it. Ah, but Mooning never solved a thing, did it? Nay, it's times like these that we Crystarium folks stand tall and do what needs to be done. Trade with Yulmore is back on the table. We best make use of those resources to fortify this city against the Eaters. Or whatever misery the fates deem to throw at us next. Speaking of misery, Chesamiel was worried, sick about you. A healer wringing her hands is not a sight you ever wish to see, let me tell you. Oh, oh sweetie, you're alive. No one's been allowed to see you. Even Spagyrix Chir- Damn, that is a tough phrase, man. Spagyrix Chi- Spagyrix Chirurgeons were forbidden from making visits. Reen was kind enough to tell me you were showing symptoms similar to eater corruption, so I suppose there was little any of us could have done for you in any case. As for your companions, they've been rushing hither and yon, seeking a cure to your condition. I worry to see their faces grown ever more haggard every time they pass through the Crystarium. I shall let them know you're awake, and when they come to see you, sweetie, please do convince them to rest a bit. They won't be helping anyone if they all collapse of exhaustion. Ah, and our own Morin has been little better, I'm afraid. He hasn't left the cabinet. Too busy with his nose buried in one dusty tome or another. Aww. Oh, he's trying his best to figure it out. I wonder what Uri's doing. He's probably the same. Everybody else around the first is just like, well, the sky disappeared again and now it's back again. I guess it's just another day in the first. Confound it, this says the same thing as the last. Mayhap I should approach the problem from a different perspective. Two. Is it truly you and not some figment of my imagination? Oh, but this is wonderful. It would seem our prayers have been answered. Feeling otherwise helpless, I've been scouring our shelves for the wisdom to explain this most worrisome conundrum. Why, with all the light wardens defeated, has the light returned to obscure the sky? I must have poured over a hundred tomes, but no definitive conclusion seems forthcoming. So many questions I would pose to the Exarch, and thus do I feel his absence all the more keenly. Now that you're awake, however, I am hopeful to search for our stolen steward might begin in earnest. Catalyst, meanwhile, leads the crystalline mean in preparations for battle, though against what foe we are yet as uncertain. Why not pay her a visit? I expect seeing you upright would be a much welcome relief. Ooh, alive and well, I see. You give us all a proper fright, you know that? Not a day's gone by that I haven't heard folk wondering what's to become of you or the Exarch. Anyway, I'm glad you've recovered enough to stand. You're not planning on striking out straight away though, are you? I was hoping to have a better look at your equipment. If we'd been able to provide you with better weapons or sturdier helms, then maybe you would have won the day. And the Exarch would still be here. Aww. As such, we're keeping busy consulting each other on new forging techniques and designs and the like. If you could stand still a moment, I'd like to assess the gear we're trying to improve. I'll let her do her thing, you know? You gotta make, make her feel helpful in some ways. In the only way she can, you know? Aye, well, that's some fine work, I must admit. It wouldn't be impossible to make something better, but we'd need to experiment with different patterns and materials, and I'm not sure we have that kind of time. That sounds like a challenge that he would enjoy. Who's this guy?
Greetings, Glenard. The master of the stairs is running his own errands now, is he? Aye, well, my servers are distraught enough as it is, and I didn't want to crack the whip too hard. But never mind that. I'm thinking our absent genius and his epiphanies are the perfect answer to this predicament of yours. And by genius, you mean old Grinold. He's a man of unrivaled gifts, I won't argue with you there. But what good does his talent do us if we can't bloody find him? No one's seen hide nor hair of Grenold since he wandered off some years ago. You know what he's like once he latches on to an idea. He's probably cloistered himself in some forgotten cave, completely absorbed in his latest creation. I wouldn't even know where to start looking. Is this Sid? Is this Sid of the First? That does make things difficult. Or maybe Nero of the First? Still, if that eccentric is someone you're destined to meet, I wager he'll show up soon enough. In my time at the bar, many's the tale I've heard told of strangely fated encounters, even if a few of them might be stretching the truth just a little bit. Hmm. We'll keep our noses to the grindstone for the time being, but on the off chance you do encounter Grenault, you'd be wise to take advantage of his brilliance, rather than wait on our slow and steady progress. This is all talk for when you're fully recovered, of course. I'll let you get back to convalescing, eh? Ah, before you do that, you're actually the reason I came over here in the first place. I don't suggest partaking of my stock until you're properly well, but if you're passing near the stairs, then I've got a few regulars I'd like to introduce you to. Okay. Oh, what does he sell? Gear? I'd be best getting back. Just because the world's coming apart at the seams doesn't mean we have to follow suit now, does it? Here, here, we can't forget the heart upon which this city was founded, or the Exarch might not have much of a home to return to. But he's dead. No, is he not dead? Dude, are you alright? I think a return to your sickbed might be in order. Ah, or you might consider resting a while atop the watchtower next to the rookery. This damnable sky doesn't make for the most soothing scenery. But the Exarch often like to stand there and feel the wind upon his face. The people of this city have spirit, I'll give them that. They've not lost the will to fight. That's true. They're also helpful. I can imagine how torn you must feel, looking at that sky. Knowing what it means to everyone. And that you're responsible. You can imagine. I'm walking the same path. It's all such a mess. We fucked up, Ard. Aye. An all too familiar one. Here you stand alone, expecting no one else to bear the burden for you. Right. You're in a corner. And there doesn't seem to be any obvious way out. So what do we do, man? But that doesn't mean it's over. However hopeless it seems, you haven't lost yet. Aww. I remember looking up at the sky like this before. Being caught up in a strange kind of calm. It was after we realized we were responsible for the flood. Mm. When we resolved to journey to the source by taking our own lives. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. One last sacrifice. One last fight. One last failure. And then the oracle appeared and, well, you know the rest. I'm definitely not going to do that. There were times in the years and decades that followed when I wondered if we might not have been better off just letting the rejoining happen. <gasps> I 
That's what they want. That we'd made one last mistake. No, you can't give in. But seeing that giant Talos stir to life cured me of any doubts I still had. Always. Always we took the burden of fighting upon ourselves. That's what heroes do, isn't it? Oh, well, think about what Minfilia said. We can only do it together. So we never had the chance to see anything like that. Our people coming together as one. Mm-hmm. To think that their hope still burned so bright. That they were still so eager to live, they would lift up their fellows, one on top of the other, till they reached the sky. No. We made the right decision. And I can finally feel proud of the part we played in helping this world survive. Dang. That's nice, though, that he's finally reached that inclusion for himself. He was always so depressed about it. He was always like, he took the burden on himself and wasn't happy with the decision. Now he is. Bro fist? This bump? Oh, wait. Well, come on then. Wait. Oh. Is he sharing it? Is that what we're doing? Well, what does that mean for him? What happened between us was no coincidence. My story may be finished, but the fates have gifted me a minor role in yours. I suspected as much the moment I realized you could hear me. But it's hard not to doubt yourself when you're the man who caused the flood. I was afraid to do anything more than watch for fear of making things even worse. <gasps> but no longer. After all, the path I once walked is now yours to finish. Ard. Does, it, does this mean he's gonna die? I don't want Ard to die. I mean, I know he's already dead, but you know what I mean. For what it's worth, I cast my lot with yours. No, he's not dead. That's good. If you need a push, I'll be right there behind you. If you lose control, I'll do my best to stop you. Okay. So, let us be about it, hero. But he's my conscience now. Aww. You were up here all alone, brooding and fretting and wallowing in your woes. But look at you, grinning at nothing like a pollen drunk pixie. Sorry, my branch. It's lovely to see you again. Hmm. Look at what you've done to your ether. It's a mess. And you have cracks running all through that pretty soul of yours. I know. Been eventful a couple of weeks. Sapling. Whatever am I to do with you? Aww. What are we to do? Shall I yield up my throne? You could claim it. Cut ties with the mortal world. Hide away in the castle. It's definitely a thought, but then the world would still be dying and I'd just be hiding away in a castle with you until we die. It won't fix the problem. But would it really matter? If any pesky heroes come calling with steel and magic, all of Il Meg will rise up in your defense. My crown and scepter are yours, if you want them. Oh. Yes, oh, I accept. Don't give me that look. No. <laughs> of course I knew before I asked that you'd never ever heed such a wicked subject. Oh. And besides, what would become of my precious and ephemeral flower? Oh, my dear beloved sapling, you are lost, confused, and have precious little time to gather your wits. Mm-hmm. Your kind is always so preoccupied with what lies ahead 
and so we muddle your vision with fog and glamour. But such trickery is easy to see through. Stand very, very still. Think not of where you need to go, but where you are right now at this moment, at this time, in this place. We're meditating? What's she gonna do? Our cairn of crystal. From shadowed hood he watched you go. His ruby eyes with warmth aglow. See yourself as he saw you. And that shall be the clearest clue. But what? It wasn't Graha's two eyes different? You stand in his garden, dear sapling. Ask his flowers what they know, and you will surely find an answer. But what will you do with it, I wonder? I'll be watching and waiting. Waiting and watching. As always. My branch. Oh. Oh, they both became red at the end? Yeah, I'm so intrigued about the tower and the Graha business. Oh ho, I did not expect to see you on your feet so soon. Surely you have not come in search for an Amaro? What do I know of the Crystal Exarch? I'm happy to share, but I fear there will be no surprising revelations. As any in this city could tell you, he is a man of wisdom and compassion, and many untold secrets. But none can doubt his generosity. When the Crystarium was being constructed, he even allowed folk to plunder the tower for resources. He has imposed no restrictions upon us but one. No one except the Exarch is permitted to dwell within the Spire. Why? Many seasons past, a comrade of mine was bold enough to ask the reason why. The Exarch merely smiled and said, Because one day the Crystal Tower may vanish as suddenly as it arrived. Oh. I guess that was because he want, like, his plan was to leave, so it would go with him. Ooh, it is good to see you awake and alert, my friend. What's this about? You're not writing the Exarch's memoirs, are you? I'm not sure how much I can tell you, considering we avoid asking too many questions. Unspoken rule and all that. Hmm, if anyone has fresh insights to share, then it'd be Captain Lena, I'd say. Ah. She lost her parents to an eater attack not long after she was born, and the Exarch saw to her upbringing. Outward appearances aside, those two are like grandfather and granddaughter. I imagine the news of his predicament hit her doubly hard. Not that our proud captain would ever let it show. If you do decide to talk to Lena, she'll be at her usual post at the Ancestor Gate. Okay. I always love talking to Lena. Oh, was there something else you needed? If you've come for the results of my research into this persistent light, I'm afraid there's little to tell as of yet. Records pertaining to the Exarch? Well, I need no documentation to relay what little I know of his history, if that is what interests you. Ahem. <clears throat> Less than a decade had passed since the coming of the Flood, when the Crystal Tower first flashed into existence. Its summoner, the Exarch himself, became known to the refugees in Lakeland soon thereafter. He welcomed all who sought out the Spire, be they locals who had lost their homes or verbatites fleeing their ruined kingdom, and together did they found the city which would become the Crystarium. Some thought to call him King, for he refused to share his name, but the summoner did not deem himself worthy of a royal address. Thus did the people consider his scintillating skin so alike to the tower he had summoned and bestowed upon him the title of Crystal Exarch. As for his true name, well, it would seem that is a mystery that remains unsolved to this day. Hmm. It ain't no mystery to me, buddy. Question is, what the fuck? Okay, my dear Lena. Too, I was not told you had awoken. A welcome surprise. Now only if the Exarch was returned to us. 
He was taken by this rival of yours, was he not? Your companions mentioned that they had an idea of where to find him, and so I bristled when they asked for patience. I did not understand their hesitation until I saw that you had fallen. Only then did I realize that I had no business rushing ahead. Even so, the delay has been no less agonizing. In the moments before, he left to join you in Clusia. The Hexarch entrusted me with a key. Oh. It opens the door in the ocular, a chamber known as the Umbilicus. Oh, okay. This room is the heart of the tar, into which only the Exarch himself is permitted to enter. Oh. Magic key into Chris's bedroom. Oh. He bid me allow none to enter the tower once he had departed. Only in the event that an army of eaters descended upon the city was I to access the umbilicus and awaken the defensive barrier. Never before had he left me with such instructions, but the battle with Valtry loomed near, and at the time, I accepted the key without much thought. Okay. Since then, however, that moment is all that occupies my mind. So he knew. Yeah, he, like, he thought it was going to go one way, at least. He didn't expect it to go this way, though. When I recall the look upon his face, I knew that some terrible fate awaited him. Tell me to. I need to know what he feared. What battle you and your companions are truly fighting. Long story. Forgive me. I trust in the Exarch, and I should not be voicing these doubts when he is not here to respond to them personally. But you have come to me with a question of your own, have you not? Ah, I see I'm not the only one who burns for answers. The time has come to open the tower's heart. Though we do not face an invasion of eaters, I suspect the city will be in far more danger if you do not gain the knowledge you seek. Okay. Okay. Into the room. Come, meet me in the ocular and I will unlock the door within. I'm getting to the point where I just want to like keep questing. You know, I want to just keep going with the story. I have unlocked the door to the umbilicus. You are free to enter. Once you have what you require, I'll see it sealed once more. Until then, I will remain without. Aw, she doesn't want to come in. She's so loyal to her position. Here we go. Books. Oh, God. He doesn't clean his room. Oh, my God. Now, what is this thing? Is this his bed? Uh-oh. Nap time. Who's this? That's Uri? A moment to collect my thoughts, I prithee. He must have told him of the plan. Thy true name is Grahatia, then. By thy claims, thou too art a native of the source, though from an age beyond our own, when the eighth umbral calamity hath visited devastation upon our star. Oh. He's from the future? Oh. We're just throwing that in there? Oh! Thou hast, by subtle means, reached across the boundaries of time and space to unsow the seeds of catastrophe, ere its creeping vines drag our champion unto an early grave. The trailer! We must revert, like, undo the history. Ah, see, I... But that also applies to, like, the present and the history before that. I didn't know he was... Talking about even fur. Oh, wow. Okay. In essence, yes. 
A difficult story to swallow, I am sure. I doubt not the veracity of thy words, not the account of thy coming, nor that of the fated calamity. Yet my mind straineth still to apprehend the enormity of this tale. Wouldst thou favor me with a gradual unfolding of its chapters? Certainly. So he knew everything. I should start with those great minds who survived the calamity. Sid Garland being perhaps the greatest. Said. In hopes of staying the unending tides of war, he and his fellows pursued all manner of possible solutions. One of these was rooted in a theory which unified several fundamental principles discovered over the course of the Warrior of Light's adventures. Mm -hmm. It proposed a method by which one could enter the river of time, traverse the rift, and leap between worlds. Yo, <laughs> what? Sid invented time travel? Perfecting that idea, however, was a work which consumed their lifetimes. And thus was it left to future generations to decide whether theory would be put into practice. Oh my god. But all the while, the world continued to burn. Hope was a feeble outpost beset on all sides by thievery and misery and murder. Oh yeah, the concepts from Alexander Omega. Dang, I like how they tie that in. That's really cool. People cried out in despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. So this is what the the thing they were talking about is in the dream I had. The sickness. And others raised their voices in answer. Though we be beyond salvation, those who came before may yet be saved. We will forge a crossroads and pave the way for a different future. By the wisdom of our forebears, we will prevent this calamity from ever having come to pass. Okay. The fighting went on unabated, but some few took up Sid's research and labored to realize those impossible ah. ideas. Those are the two people that came looking for me, right? After ah. two centuries of labor, their descendants finally succeeded in awakening the Crystal Tower, an integral part of the process, and in doing so, roused its caretaker, me. Oh yeah, because he was in a slumber inside the tower. Ah! By this stage, Scholars had largely established the phenomena underpinning the rejoining, and identified the first as the shard which precipitated the eighth umbral calamity. Right. This grand structure was already capable of storing the energies required to attempt the translocation. All that remained was to augment some few of its functions based upon the theoretical models of Sid and his compeers. Wow. And by means of such technologies didst thou affect thine arrival in the first to an age before this star had joined with the source. That's crazy. Because on the other side you have like Emmett knows all of the past, but there's no way that he can know the future. But now we have Graha that knew the past from the future. Some while before, as it turned out, it is all but impossible to predict how time will flow between one world and the next, and we missed our mark by almost an entire century. Wow. But this only worked in our favor. The Sin Eaters could not be defeated without the blessing of light, and summoning the only man who might stand a chance against them would require decades of preparation. Okay. An undertaking of scarce credible endurance. Wow. That thou hast kept thy plan from falling into disarray these many years bordereth on the miraculous. It's quite the undertaking. But howsoever history be rewritten, thy present self was shaped by events which followed the calamity. That's insane. Should said catastrophe be averted, the very skein of thine existence will unravel. Yeah. 
Surely thou hast foreseen this. We've all seen Back to the Future with the photographs get. I am aware of the consequences. Aww. It is for that very reason Sid and his colleagues bequeathed their legacy as an offering and not an edict. To give all of oneself for the happiness of others and with no promise of reward. It is a hard thing to ask. Harder still for those condemned to survive in a world which pitted brother against brother. Indeed, you are right to call the execution of this plan miraculous, though the force which held it together was nothing so inexplicable. Hope. It was him. The warrior of light has been our unbroken thread. Or that. Where others would stumble and fall, he would rise above. Where others would break and run, he would carry on. The warrior of light's tale Me? is one of unyielding bravery. To tell it was to feel courage. To hear it was to feel hope. It was a breath of inspiration in an age of suffocating shadow. Oh, oh, Chris, you flatter me. In the histories of a fallen nation was our hero hailed as its greatest ally. In the time-worn pages of a noble's memoirs were his deeds joyously retold. For many, these stories were the flame which warmed them through the coldest of nights. Aww. And so it should come as little surprise that the plan found no shortage of volunteers, concerning as it did the Warrior of Light himself. It was their chance to add their own verse to the hero's saga. He was the lodestar that brought them all together to send their final message back through time and space to him. I understand. The light Nora. of your legacy was our torch in the darkness. Burn bright again and live. But this didn't go to plan. Oh no. Or maybe it did. I am merely the bearer of that wish. Come to ensure it is safely delivered. Do you think he predicted that he would get shot? Wherefore sharest thou this burden with me and no other? What wouldst thou have me say? Oh, Rory. That you will be my accomplice? It was you yourself who convinced me of your suitability when you spoke of how you learned of the Flood and of your part in arranging Minfilia's journey to the First. Your actions showed uncommon resolve. Mm -hmm. It was clear you were committed to the cause of saving this world. I knew I could trust you to choose the right path forward, even if that choice came with a heavy price. What price? Is When all is said and done, and the last of the Light Wardens lies slain, I will absorb their corrupted ether, and then I will die. Knowing what I know of your companions, not to mention your champion, they will try to stop me. But in saving one, they would save none. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I implore you to aid me in concealing my identity and ensuring this tale ends as it must. So Uri knew of his identity the whole time. To this end, I would have you take what I have told you of the Calamity and make of it a portent, a prophetic vision you beheld in the swirling chaos of the Rift. Oh, so he, oh, he didn't even have an experience. I believe Jewelry. Is this truly thy wish? History remembered the Warrior of Light, as I knew it would. 
and I will suffer no other to rescue the champion whose star has charted my course. Holy shit, he's a good liar, though. You gotta give it to him. I will see this tale to a happy end, my friend. There has been enough tragedy. Oh no. He cursed it. He cursed it, man. Why do you have to curse it, bro? Little did he know. Careful now. If you lose control again, the light could claim you for good. Although it's probably only a matter of time before you succumb to the change in any case. What do you mean to do? I don't know, man. I have no idea. Sacrifice myself? Hunt Emmett? I mean, I have a few words. Yes. Oh, that look. Look at those eyes. <laughs> we should be on our way. Deacian mentioned the Tempest, did he not? That's the stormy seas around Calusia to you. Mm. His lair must be down there somewhere. Hidden beneath the waves. Oh, I thought it was like a whole other world. The head nod. That's how you knew it's serious. We're both going after him. Let's fucking go. Okay, well, we've shifted from like despair to like, all right, back in gear. Let's go get him. Did you find the answers you sought? If there is nothing more you need, I will go and lock the door. Questions about the Tempest. The Tempest? That is the name given to the seas by which Calusi is bound. If you make a request to the Tamers, they will provide you with an Amaro to fly over the waters. But... But... Do you mean to leave right this moment? Alone? I'm not sure that... Nay. I will not seek to stop you. Go with the blessings of the Shadow, and I shall await your safe return. Okay, aspiring Amaro Tamer. You require an Amaro? Just a moment, I shall saddle our swiftest beast to fly you to the island. Open waters? To the depths of the Tempest? Our Amaro can swim, yes, but to reach the ocean floor... I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, we're dead again. We're dead, here we go. Ah, we have found thee. I know all about you, Uri. Me and you have Word some words. Word reached us of thy recovery, and thus did we gather with all haste. Oh yeah? You sure you're telling the truth, huh? <laughs> They'll look. I love it. Ah. By thy looks, I gather thou hast gleaned that which I came to tell thee. Oh, he's smart. He's smart. Orianger has shared everything with us. The Exarch's true identity and purpose. He, he told... He told you guys before me? I offer no excuses. Off with his when head. I agreed to aid the Exarch with his plans. Twas in full acceptance of the condemnation I would face when my duplicity was laid bare. Fail, get the sword. But resolve that I sense in thee. Thou art fully intent upon walking thy path to its end, art thou not? If thou canst forgive my deception, or failing that, set aside thy displeasure for a time, I do beg leave to follow thee. What strength and wisdom I possess are thine to command. Yes. I forgive you. Let's go. Love you, Uri. It's okay. I thank thee. Doubt not, but that I will do all in my power to repay thy kindness and fulfill the Exarch's wishes. It's okay, Grandpa Uri, even though he's 20 years old. I'm sorry, but I don't think this is a good idea. Oh. Leaving the Crystarium, I mean, with or without Urianche. I mean, what else are we going to do at this point? 
What I did for you won't last forever. There's no telling when the light will break free again. Please, you must stay here. At least for a little while longer, we will find a way to cure this, I promise you. I don't think we will. We have How to do something. Whoa, Alizé. We don't Alizé. even know where to start. Oh my god. Alizé, please. You know Reen was only trying to help. True. Yeah. Of course I know. I know only too well. Alizé. But making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. It's a lie. Plain and simple. We've all searched high and low for an answer. And every one of us came back empty-handed. I am not about to stand in his way now. Not after failing him in his hour of need. No! The least we can do is... Aww. She's so emotional right now. She we feels so guilty. Well. There is naught to be gained by standing still. I agree with that. Indeed, we have exhausted every other avenue. Lead and we shall follow. If there is any hope to be found, then we will surely find it at your side. Are we all in agreement then? Reen doesn't want to. But now she's pressured. Is there aught we can do to help? Oh. Though we may not know the whole story, we do know you're in for a fight. Were they just eavesdropping on us, by the way? They were just like standing there, like observing the silent conversation. And while the Exarch's away, it falls to the rest of us to see the warrior of darkness is given a proper send off. Dang. You told them. <laughs> no. Well, not in so many words. She implied. We didn't need it spelled out for us. When the night sky appeared over whichever place you went to, it was harder not to put two and two together. Right. From the moment I heard that you and the Exarch shared the homeland, I had my suspicions. They knew all along? Well, he knew all along. Long had he been waiting for a certain someone to arrive. And I knew at once that it must be you. Exactly. When he went up to meet you, to was clear it was no ordinary visitor. Right, the first day at the gate. And then Lena showed up. That spring in his step spoke volumes. I could feel his excitement. Me too! That's <laughs> right! Yeah, yeah. I love how they refer back to the beginning of the we expansion. We don't fully understand where you or the Exarch hail from, or why you've all done so much to protect us. But we are deeply grateful nonetheless. So, if there is anything at all we might do to aid your journey, you need only name it. What would you have of us? Honestly, I don't know. These guys probably you have a better have idea. might have invited them to join us, where there are not so many. Come, they are waiting. What is your will, O oh warrior of darkness? I love how she says that. Oh my god. I, I guess that's like the most they can do. Defend the Chrysarium until we return. I don't think I have to tell them that. They'll do that anyway, but... You gotta give them a purpose. Okay. There's nothing I can do to cleanse you of the light's corruption, but I'll do everything in my power to keep it in check. If the Warden's Aether overwhelms you again, you will become a Sin Eater, so please save your strength for when it really matters. Just so you know, I will not look kindly on any further attempts to leave us behind. We do this together. Of course! Of course. I once said that I wanted to fight for Astinian, but I wanted to save him, not let him be sacrificed for a cause. No, I say the same to you. Oh, I remember that. He didn't. He said he didn't want another friend to die or to lose another friend or whatever it was. Gods know that you spent enough time charging into danger on our behalf. It's only fair that we return the favor. 
I think Thyncrit has seen enough danger in this expansion. Jesus. The volunteers who journeyed to Calusia have all been safely returned to their homes. They've also assured us that they will do their best to hold the Eaters at bay in our absence. Thou didst plan to commandeer an Amaro for thy journey to the open sea. I fear the following dive down onto Emmet Selk's underwater abode would drain even thy legendary stamina. Thus, during thy convalescence, we considered the most Uri, please, come on. Efficacious method for reaching the depths of the Tempest, and I believe we have arrived at an elegant solution. Yet here we discuss this step. I suggest thou dost conclude such pressing business as remains to thee in the Crystarium. Once the sea closeth above our heads, we are unlikely to surface again until our grand deed is done. Okay. We get the message. We get the RPG message. <laughs> Finish off everything before you proceed. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good place to call it. That was awesome. Um, the back-to-back -back dungeon trial combo, and then all the crazy cutscenes. Man, my mind is blown. I have a lot to think about, a lot to see over. Still a number of questions that I can't even like come up with right now. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of in shock in a way, but yeah, it was really enjoyable. I love when we start like accelerating with all of these story elements. And I think it's like, I think it's just such a compelling story as well. Um, really well written. I'm loving all these twists and turns. I think it's something that I wasn't expecting. I can see throughout the whole expansion, some similarities between the warrior of darknesses between Ard and me. Um, but I didn't expect it to go to this level. I thought it was going to be more simple. The time travel stuff with Sid was awesome. I love how all of these characters have grown as well. Um, but as we head into Emmett's domain, which again is also a really awesome character development. He told us the truth the whole time, but because he's an Ashen, he knew that we thought he would be lying so it's like we knew that we would just power on through it and continue with our actions and yeah i can't wait to see what's in store for the finale and see how this whole thing resolves <sighs> but yeah that's gonna do it for me on this episode thank you guys for watching i appreciate it if you're new here thanks for tuning in don't forget to hit the subscribe button right below the channel you can become a channel member and help support me in the channel by hitting the join button right below this video i appreciate it i'll see you guys for the next one take care peace hey everyone thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up so it tells youtube to recommend it to other people like you and if you're enjoying my videos and still haven't yet subscribed consider doing so i'd appreciate it a lot thank you guys i'll see you guys next time peace